Today we are going to talk about prefabricated and pre-laminated flap. So when do we call a flap a prefabricated one? If we add a new dominant vascular pedicle to a flap before any definitive surgery we call it a prefabricated flap. So it is a two-stage surgery. In the first stage we choose a donor area then we select a uh, dominant vascular pedicle just adjacent to this flap to this donor area and then we harvest the this new vascular pedicle along with some muscle fiber at the end of it then we create a subcutaneous tunnel uh, and transfer this new uh, vascular pedicle to the donor area along with this muscle fiber and attach it to the subcutaneous tissue or fascia of the donor area and then we wait for six weeks until the uh, flap get healed and the donor area get its new blood supply if we put a tissue expander just below this donor area then we have to wait longer one example of uh, prefabricated flap is if we choose to reconstruct nose with the uh, tissue from the medial side of the arm then at first we need to harvest the thoracodorsal artery which is just adjacent to the arm and its branch to the serratus anterior along with some muscle fiber of the latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior then we create a subcutaneous tunnel and transfer this thoracodorsal artery along with this muscle fiber to the upper part of the arm through a subcutaneous tunnel and we attach the vascular pedicle to the subcutaneous tissue of the arm. Now we create a design of the nose that is how we are going to reconstruct it and we wait for six weeks. After six weeks we transfer the flap according to the design based on this thoracodorsal artery and reconstruct nose. That's how we get the prefabricated flap. On the other hand, the prelaminated flap is all about uh, shaping the donor area in a structure we want to reconstruct before the definitive surgery. In the, it is also a two-stage surgery. In the first stage, we partially or completely elevate the flap and we shape the flap in a structure we want to reconstruct like nose or rear. By putting some sutures or cutting it, we can also put some other structures to the flap like cartilage if uh, we required and make it a multi-layered flap. However, we don't transfer the flap yet to the recipient site we wait when all the suture lines or various grabs that we put in the donor area heal. Then we transfer the flap to the recipient side. One example is that if we want to reconstruct nose with the uh, forearm tissue, then we choose a vascular pedicle that is radial artery. Then we shape the donor area as nose and we incise uh, it and partially or completely elevate it and put some sutures to this area uh, before doing so as um, to make it steady we can harvest some cartilage from ribs or ER and we uh, put this at the ella so that uh, the structure becomes steady and we put stitches around the uh, shape and then we wait for six weeks or whatever the time we need to get this flap healed and all the grafts uh, is uh, accepted to the donor area and after that we uh, when all the grafts and uh, the suture line area heal, then we transfer this pre-laminated flap to reconstruct nose. This is the radial artery and 
this is all about the prelaminated flap thank you